Hi friends, welcome to our short video series. This lady came with a torsion ovary. Okay, the purpose of this video is to give the message very clearly that ovary has to be conserved in most cases. Okay, now ovary may look little gangrenous, it may look little uh, blackish, it may be very uh, friable, still ovary has to be saved okay now you see what we are doing we are doing a detorsion of the ovary it was a ovarian torsion on the right side and once we do that if there is a ovarian cyst it is advisable to do a ovarian cyst or sometimes even just a cyst puncture alone is enough okay and after that to prevent the recurrence of torsion what we do is the ovarian uh, ligament plication to the round ligament the classical explanation of hot dog in double bun technique explained by my very good friend uh, dr sandesh kade now in this patient we did a cystectomy okay the cyst was probably the reason why it got torsion in the first place okay so once we do the cystectomy, we go ahead with the plication of the ovarian ligament, okay? And uh, another time I want to request, please do not do oophorectomy. We do get a lot of patients who come uh, with the oophorectomy at a very young age, okay? And it will be a very injustice. Another thing is that these girls are prone to have torsion even on the other side okay so if we do oophorectomy and unfortunately the other side also ends up with the torsion and she may have very low fertility potential so this is the classical hot dog in double one technique where you take a bite onto the ovarian ligament uh, round ligament and mesosolpings without kinking the Two. that is very important okay and you attach the ovarian ligament to the round ligament so that next time if at all there is a situation where even <coughs> there is a possibility of torsion the torsion has to happen with the round ligament which is very very difficult okay so the round ligament acts as an anchor and prevents the future torsions initially we were doing this plication with vicryl but we had recurrence in one or two cases because the vicryl gets absorbed and after that there is no more anchoring effect so since then we have started using the proline that is the polypropylene monofilament so thank you very much